sweating. <laughs> First thing, I'm cap. On the podcast. On the podcast. Yeah. yeah. Is that right? Yeah. yeah I did. Scotland under 18s, didn't you? 19s. 19s. Yeah. No cap, does it? <laughs> oh, okay, now. What was it? What was it? He's had his weighted bits this morning. <laughs> eh? Pride of place, that can, would you? Yeah, I think so, mate. Yeah, I think that's probably the yeah. Listen, setting off as a young lad, that's what you wanna. That's what you wanna achieve, yeah. eh? You wanna play for your country. So, luckily for me, I uh, I did it. If I'm looking back, probably have a few regrets that I didn't. Probably live my life properly at times. Um, Who the manager? We'll give you a Sven. 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 Sven Goran Eriksson was the manager. Like? Do you know what? He didn't really say too much. And toured grip. Oh, didn't really say a lot. You know, it's kind of listen. You're going on at half time. Good luck, and out you went. Kind of thing. <laughs> it was, it was against like Portugal, but it was when Wembley were getting done, so like they were touring around the grounds. Yeah. Eh? So ended up um, Villa Park. It was uh, so went on at half time. You know, good. Enjoyed it. Got um, got a dead leg after about ten minutes. I fucking limped through the next thirty five minutes. Cause I thought, I'm not coming <laughs> off. <laughs> getting exactly battered here. <laughs> But um, no, memorable. I've got who, to say. Who were competing for places then in England squad? For um, Gerard. Yes, yeah, S- Stevie, uh, Lampard, Beck, Scolzi, Butty, me. <laughs> 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 uh, you had a little fun <laughs> competition then, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Danny Murphy. Um, yeah, there was, a, there was a few. So it was, you listen, it was tough to get in that team, you know, unbelievable players. Eh? When you look back and think of, of the, um, you, know, you know, you talk about world-class players. I mean, Scolzi, Frank, Stevie, Bex. I mean, pff, good luck getting through them. I said some good players. In yeah. There. But, well, I've always thought this. Would you like to go to the Euros or the World Cup and not play a minute? Do you know what? It nearly happened. Nearly happened. I was on standby for... South Korea, was it South Korea Japan? Yeah, that was the yeah. that was the tournament. weren't at the World Cup. Was that two thousand and two? Two thousand and two. I always thought, fuck that. I've got no, a yeah. holiday, mate. You know what I mean? No. Go and train for another. Go on holiday any time. You know, I tell you what, you're full of shit. You're full of shit I'm telling you, I would rather go on holiday than go, go and be a, not play a minute. It was. I'm telling you, it was vested in all three crowns. I love my golf vest on, John. I'll be there again this year, no doubt. <laughs> Little shout out, East Enders Magaluf. There you go. <laughs> get it on, get it on when you get there. Oh my God! No, it was the uh, it was the World Cup when Beck's done. I think he'd done his metatarsal, yeah. and um, Trevor Sinclair had gone over. He'd come back, then they'd sent him out again, and they went to, uh, to out like D- Dubai. <laughs> and, and, I, and I was like there, literally. If he if because the, the shout were that, uh, that Trev were going to just say, listen, I'm not doing it again, you're mucking me about. Um, so I was next on the plane. Fucking what a nightmare. Eh? I'd have loved that. South Korea. Would have been great. It would have been great. So um, I don't know where I ended up that summer. Probably Vegas. <laughs> Vegas, Magaluf. <laughs> Made the most of it. Yeah, fucking right I did, yeah. Happy days. See, I think you won there. I think you won and Sinclair lost. <laughs> if he went. We all... Did quite. Did you spit it out, mate? Nervous, what? Fucking twenty-four one of these. Fucking he's out there shitting it, man. We got so you didn't get any more caps. Did, were there a few moments, you know, like you said, close to that World Cup? Yeah, I was in you? a, I was in a few more squads, but um, like I said, I mean, fucking hard time to, um, hard time to push, push your way through, you know. And then after that, I went to Birmingham. And let's be honest, I was like, I had a worse injury record than Brownie had at Blackburn. So, unfortunately, it's just one of them things. <laughs> Still eh? probably be, be better than me than me. Do you know what? I was looking. 50, Still more effective. I think 50 odd games in three and a half years I played. It was fucking rubbish, really. Yeah. Um, you know, there's different things happening at the, uh, in my life at the time, but, you know, the M6 constantly up and down probably did me back and hamstrings no good. and you know, ultimately had a little bit of an effect on my uh, on my performances and, and my career. That and maybe living 100 yards from Spearmint Rhino. <laughs> fucking one, of, one of the other reasons, maybe. Was that going Bruce? The, yeah, Brucey was great, though. Brucey was actually probably too good with me because he, he knew I was having a tough time and stuff, and he, he probably... Um, tough time, what, just with the injury or other stuff going on as well? Yeah, a bit of both, really. I mean, I, mean, I remember doing me... Um, Doing my hamstring for about the sixth time in the in the in the season, um, couldn't you know, couldn't couldn't get rid of it. 
And um, I remember going up to Bruce, I was nearly in tears, I was like, just gutted. And he was like, I think you need a blow. And he's blow, a blow for Bruce, he might go to Tenerife for 10 days. And get absolutely <laughs> bollocks. Um, so, as, as you do, you, I took him up on oh, the if offer. It's good, if it's good, you the, the time off, yeah, you've got to make the um, most of it. So, that was, that was listen, we, we went over there for a week and, and came back and I was just... You know, mentally in a better place, I suppose. So, you know, it, 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 it didn't work, did it? <laughs> it didn't work. Let's be fair, but um, I could see the I could see the the reason behind it. We've been back in England, shit, on this uh, soccer sixes. Star sixes, Star yeah. Sixes. It was uh, it was great. Jeez, three days, three days on the piss, really. It was a um, football thrown in. Yeah. We all feel then. with that crap with Owen and McAteer. Yeah, I was on. Yeah, yeah. You probably seen me waddling around like, because <laughs> <laughs> that top was a I was joke. Say, sack the kit, man. Because yeah. that was tight, wasn't it? It was funny actually. We've got I've got some stuff in there, like you know, in the dressing room when we got this. I kind of was a little, little bit paranoid, to be fair. I was like try, <laughs> trying it on. I was like, oh, I probably could do with an XL here. <laughs> I've been like that for fucking. Because we had to, years. <laughs> we had to, we had to send, um, we had to send our kits in, our kit sizes. So I thought, fucking, hell, what am I sending here, like? Thought, do you know what? I'll go for large top and I'll try the large shorts. When I got there, I thought I tried them on. Fucking hell, they were like cycling shorts. <laughs> I thought, oh, God, XLs, get me, a sh- get, me a, get me a short size up. So I got the XLs, which weren't too bad, and I put this top on. I thought, fucking all the lads were laughing. Like, I'm like oh, what's happening here? Like, and I always take the mick out of a couple of my mates and I always say, look, look. Give us that ball back, you know, when they come out with a t shirt on. I said, Give us that ball back under your top, and I'm looking. And then you look back on the highlights and you're in the changing rooms thinking, Okay, now what's happening here? Like, I'm going to get absolutely buzzed off. But listen, day two, you're right, because you've had that much abuse on, on social media. It's great then. Yeah. You know, because it, it's, out, it's out the way. You know, you, you, you fat bastard done and all that stuff. So, <laughs> God, uh, all the Scottish lads are all in the crowd. Fucking fatty, come here. And I'm thinking, oh, yeah. Hey, there's, hey, by the way, I weren't the only one that were, it was snug no, on. There was a couple I'm more. Sure it were tied. No, I've got I'm, I've got a video on my phone and I'm stretching. Me and Wes Brown are stretching the top. <laughs> stretching it like mad, trying to just 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 get it on. Really, I, I think that was the most um, probably the most exhausted I've been. Like you know, after that, you'd think the football would be the most you know fucking blow. Like we're not playing much in the last three years, and then. You'd be blowing during the games, but actually, the, the worst thing for me was fucking trying to get the top off. <laughs> it took me about an hour. <laughs> I was like, "Fucking get it off!" <laughs> were, there, were there any afters with Macatier, or were it just all? I mean, Macca's Macca's Macca, isn't he? he you uh, see that interview after? I think he's, he's only yeah, really he was, taking it to heart. I hour. thought he embarrassed himself. To yeah, be he, 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 Macca likes that kind of stuff, doesn't he? You know, wherever he is, he's always he's always in and around the action. Uh, he was the same. Listen, I played with him here, so it, you know, I knew him well, and he's you know he means well, but he's um, he does find he does get involved in all this stuff. And to be fair, more probably more did have a little kick out at him, but it was a bit. Overreaction. Listen, we're ex-players playing in a tournament. I mean, yeah, it that, just really that a little bit. You, your head goes a little bit, but then afterwards he's gone. Do you know why he sent me off and not in? Because it's my Because it's England. England. Yeah, I know. It's sure. far besides. Little, <laughs> little cheap shot. Little yeah, cheap shot. Do you go up with the attitude of we're just going to enjoy it, but then when it starts, you're thinking we've you can't help it. Now. You can't help it. You're, you're out there. Into it. You're out. <laughs> I mean, the lads were like. All my mates were on a group chat and I was getting pelters. Like there was one say like Craig Conway, he, t- he, t- he was obviously bull. at home. The bull, what the bull was taping it every time. There's anything on me funny. Rewind. He was just rewinding it, playing it. Group <laughs> chat. And there was one when I, I think Mendieta tried to go past me, and I thought I've got to tackle him. Me, I'm, I'm running as quick as I can, about three mile an hour, and I, I get the ball and fall over, and then I get nudge in front of him and I fall over again. So it's like. You know, what's happening here like come on and he's just battering me all the group chats going anyway. the Scottish took it seriously though didn't they honestly like I was surprised because you know Lee McCulloch Barry Ferguson just to name a few you know I know Baz really well and you know they were like you know, took it really serious I mean I thought you know I, I, I said to Fergie first night I said listen a few beers tonight he's like nah I'm, I'm off home like you know I spoke to a few of the other lads so you're coming out tonight lads nah nah we're off home Friday, Saturday, not a sign of them. And then it got back to us like we were, you know, 
what they're doing yoga and cool down <laughs> sessions in the pool and that. That's Mom, unacceptable. Isn't it? That is like That's unbelievable. Like probably the only that dom would have been. Hey, hey, leading up to it, le- <laughs> leading up to it, leading up to the tournament, they had a little pre-season where they go out, you know, and play a couple of times a week and, and, get, and get get a kick around amongst themselves. Where did they finish? Work on. I don't know. We, we, to be fair, Conch got us out of jail, didn't he? Thirty seconds towards yeah. the end of the game, yeah. he scores and knocks them out, and we play the rest of the world. And as they say. <laughs> Rest is history, lads. <laughs> <laughs> but Koch is still, still looking good, sharp. He must be about 60 now. Mm, do you know what? He, he tried. We was all saying, go on, do the old, you know, the Aussie do- yeah. escape to victory one where Aussie Ardealis flips it over, you know, the trick he does. I was like, go on, get it done, right? He's like, are you going to do the Rabona as well if I do that? <laughs> I'm like, uh, probably not, mate. <laughs> we weren't actually going to mention that. Yeah. It's like the, the arse has ripped out of a book. Yeah, no, it's boring. It I mean, sick now. Venki's advert, the chicken advert and the, the Rabona, I mean, boring. Poor off lads, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, put a line, just put a line through your notes, <laughs> yeah. Chris. Yeah. You so, don't need no, that. No, listen, let's, <laughs> let's have it. Shred let's have it. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? I, I mean, fucking hell, that... that at least you're good at Do you know what? I've done it loads of times. <laughs> In my mind, I have anyway. <laughs> and, it, and it's worked. So when I, I'm at Birmingham, I see Four Cell making a little run. And I think, he's on here. I'm going to produce this. Aston Villa, Birmingham, Blues Derby. I think it was my first one. I thought, all day long, I'm trying this here. <laughs> and all these things are going, cut inside. I thought, he's on. Tried it. Just as I'm doing it, pop, little bobble. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> Little bubble, honestly, I, I kind of, kind of jumped on my feet, and I'm, I'm looking, and they counted on us, by the way, and I remember, I'm sure it like they had a shot at goal, and I must have said, I'm running back, sprinting back, well, jogging back, I'm jogging back and thinking, fuck, oh, please don't score, please, I must have said it about 25 <laughs> times on the way back, and it just went past the post. I thought, fucking hell, first thing I thought in my mind, that's fucking soccer, eh, and that, that's viral, uh, that's that's. Taxi for done. <laughs> I just knew that, like, and I thought, kind of couldn't concentrate on my game for the rest of it. But yeah, I don't know how you didn't break your leg. leg. I've looked yeah, at it. It, it, it. It looks I think I'm all over the place. Yeah, it was fine, mate. It was fine. It, it went in the credits, didn't it? For, for soccer. I, yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, funny story, right? Make it. Hey, well, I think it's quite funny. So I need a telly about. I don't know. It must have been a couple of years after it, three, two or three years after. And you know when they the, the the Sky playback, yeah. you know where you you know, you can rewind and forth. They used it at the advert, didn't they? Yeah. So I walks in, I walks into Curry's, and there's probably sixty tellies, all facing you when you walk in. I'm thinking, oh, we'll, we'll get one in it. Oh, fucking plasmas are over there. You know, let's, let's, come on then, come on, let's have a look. Anyway, all of a sudden, Sky playback advert comes on, and it's me in it. <laughs> Some things you just want to see over and over again. <laughs> I thought, right, I'm on every screen in the in Curry's and PC world, like everywhere. And 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 it was like one of them really uncomfortable moments where I'm thinking, oh for fuck's sake, like what am I doing here? Like, and I'm just like, I don't I don't know where to look. I'm like fucking, I'm in the toasters. Like, hey, what, about, <laughs> what about the toasters? Like, you wanna, hey, do we need a new toaster? <laughs> Dishwashers. Let's get in. Let's have a look what it's like. And it, but all the all the. Um, <laughs> all the uh, all the staff then make it really uncomfortable for me because they're looking at the screen and then they're looking at me and thinking, is it him? It is him. It is him. I said, you fucking tricked over doing that silly trick. I'm tricked over. Uh, it's like, I said, I love the plasma. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Never mind. The chicken advert, though. While we're on the... While we're, might as well get them out, man. Might as well get them out. Get them out all in one. <laughs> Is that chicken. another one you watch back re- regularly? Do <laughs> <laughs> you ever see it when you win a chicken shop? I get more. Still next you to know the, what? Next every, to the England cap? I, I get every. Listen, every time I try and give any Burmese, any Burmese fan any stick on the thing, they come back with a, with a chicken advert of the trick. So it's pretty. Listen, I'm immune to it now. Yeah. But I just, you know, if I cast my mind back to the day, you know, we're, we're, we're there all day, by the way, filming this advert. So there's you like get it in there's six, six or seven of us. And we're all there, and I'm chirpy as out, and I'm bouncing around, and everyone's Jay Roberts, Ryan Nelson, Michelle Salgado, they're all, they're all doing their little bits, and I'm not doing anything. I'm thinking, I'm getting away with this. This is great, <laughs> like, and I'm just sat back. Literally, half an hour before we wrap, or an hour before we wrap, they said, like, David, right, it was as if, <laughs> as if they'd planned it, like, they have just <laughs> been me all day. And, and, and a little bit as me, it's like, thinking to myself, 
how much I were involved in a bit more in the adverts. Like, I'm not, I'm not even going to be on it. I was a bit gutted, really, to be honest. I thought, <laughs> I want to be involved here. Anyway, but... Time to shine. I'm hammering everyone. Oh, every time I'm behind the camera going, oh, what are you doing? I'm caning them all. <laughs> then the last bit, David, you, you can use this. And then, obviously, as they say, the rest is history, mate, with the, with the old... And then he nicks me. <laughs> <laughs> you say anything? What do you say? I have watched it, but I can't remember. Oh, it was horrible. Listen, just... Just like, what, I mean, do you know what? It was all right. It was kind of well, you know, well done. But in, in terms of adverts, I probably won't be, won't be signing up for it again. No. I don't think, mate. The chicken, nice. Do you know what? It was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. It was I thought you were acting. I thought you were acting. In the way that you, it, yeah, it was like the surprise. Yeah, do it again, it's lads. Good. Oh, cool. <laughs> <Back to> some <laughs> more chicken. We do it again, lads. Do it. I do, I do, I do like right. chicken. If it were me properly doing it, though, it'd just be like a bone, wouldn't it? I'd be like that. <laughs> <laughs> I've, already, I've already done it. <laughs> nah, no, nah, all good. All How good. did you find the Vengis? Do you know what? I've always... I find it's, since I was... You know, everyone knows I'm a Blackburn fan, and, you know, I've come out publicly and said, listen, I think they, they, you know, they've backed him. I think the biggest thing I would say, if I'm being serious, would, you know, they've backed him, and, they, they, you know, they've... They've put all, loads of money into the club, um, but if if everyone's being honest, they have they've made big mistakes. But I think they know that. I think they know yeah. that, and you know the club's getting back to where you know somewhere where it should be now. I um, think it's more just an experience. The fact that they, I think they, they have it, put I, money you know in, I think they. I mean, I mean, it's different working with chickens and footballers, isn't it? I think they got badly advised. Person wobbling around on that's that's like a six. Upside down, I do <laughs> yeah, Now, giving me a bit um, <laughs> wobbling around. That's poor. Um, no, but listen, I think they've. Um, I think they've. I think they've learnt lessons. Um, you know, I think it, it, it's kind of it's gone. It's gone through the bad bit, and now it's you know it's it's, it's steady now. Uh, but I think Tony Mowbray deserves a lot of credit, you know, for that. Don't he's well, he's a proper, the most honest guy I think I've ever met. He's such a good guy. Um, he's a he's a he's a diamond, really. And the, you know, the club's lucky to to have had him. You know, he's he's turned it around massively. Was it, was it Chappie who used to talk about him sneaking Kit Kats? <laughs> I don't know. Well, he likes his he likes his biscuits to yeah, be fair. So I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, sure he likes Chappie his biscuits. He'd be walking around chain guy and he'd just open his thing up and just <laughs> sneak a kick out. I don't know about <laughs> that. Got the the little fridge in his office with a few few little goodies in there. I used to be like that. Is the gaffer gone for dinner yet? I'm getting there. <laughs> Lambert used to love the uh, mm. pot puries. You know that then what they call man when the smoke up the potpourri. Uh, I the the incense, way, incense, incense, but you walked in, it was like a bloody Pop Thai massage parlour. <laughs> 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 What's the Thai massage parlour? Remember the um, the hampers we used to get? Oh. Every Christmas we got, the players got a grand's worth of... Harrods. Harrods. Harrods hampers. They used to come and they were the f- massive, weren't they? Turkeys, chutneys, you name it. What did you used to do? Just give it out as presents. Give it up and give it to yeah. me, mum, and that. Yeah. I, <laughs> see, seriously, I used to give it early, and she used to say, "Right, keep what you want, and then um, away yeah. you go." We Marmalade. Used to, oh, we used to dish it out to all our family. Yeah. Like, oh, I've got your great present Tricky. this year. <laughs> I went to London for it. Did you, did you even get one? <laughs> I got one. Yeah. Fucking hell, fire. <laughs> was well, one all the players got a massive one this big. And Brownie, can <laughs> I just got Brownie, a turkey's head. Brownie, Brownie got Christmas pudding. It's relative, <laughs> it's relative to the contribution you made to the team. <laughs> you used to, that was Dave Fever, the old, old physio, you used to have him on a piece of string, didn't you? <laughs> Dave was, a, Dave was sound. Yeah, I've was known sound. Dave for, since I was, I was little. I've, I've had, I've had so many. Remember when you rubbed the, um, his thingies off the board in the gym? <laughs> oh. I know. Uh, he's had these. He said that we used to do like a, what was it? National circuit. Yeah, and he, he had, had some times. horrible things. Up so, his so bearing in mind, Dave came in with Brian Kidd, which was what, nineteen ninety nine maybe. It was yeah. when I was like nineteen year old, and he did this circuit. So from nineteen ninety nine to two thousand and fifteen, he's got every time wrote up on the board. Like a leaderboard of <laughs> each circuit. Right, yeah. <laughs> like everything. So he's got all the best times through all the lads. So Flickcroft's on there, Matty or Short, you know, I don't know if Andy Cole was on there. Um, everyone's on there, all, all wrote up. So, so one day Dave left and I was injured, so I was in the, I thought, 
I'm going to get him here, like. So I went, I wrote all of them down. <laughs> I wrote every single, uh, no, I took a picture. Yeah. I took a picture of all the boards so I knew. <laughs> right? And I so just, I've just on. wrote, I've just wiped all the fucking names off, all the times and that. And then I've got the marker, uh, the, like the whiteboard marker, and I've put like under 12's fitness test, <laughs> um, sprint, tr- sprint test, uh, 10 seconds. Um, and I just made lo- loads of kids' names up. Is it like the youth team had been in the uh, night honestly, before? Honestly, so, so the night, so the day after, I'm thinking, right, here we go, I'm injured, I'm in the gym. I've gone, Dave, I'm doing the national circuit today, where's all the times? I said, I want to beat it, I'm ready for it. And he's come, he's come in, like, and he's gone, where's the, where's the fuck have they gone, like? So I, he's formed the academy physio from the medical room and he's going, who was in here last night? And he was going nuts. Like, he was, he was phoning all down the academy, finding out which physio had been up and done these testing times, honestly. I got him on top. He was that raging, way. but he didn't want to let the lads the know lads he was know. raging. But we could obviously... 20 years of hard work head. all on there. And he was like that, weren't he? He yeah. was like, he liked his little... Uh, he still had the same rehab records. from 20 years ago. <laughs> the old belt. There yeah. you go. Roy Hodgson... Yeah. Hit manager when you first first come through. Yeah, out yeah. He gave me uh, give me my debut. Give me a chance. Yeah, he was he was good, you know. Didn't last long that debut, would it? Oh my god. I mean, I just listen. I I think I've had a decent career, but the more I speak to you, like, you're <laughs> mentioning these things. <laughs> no. What I mean, happened? Debut. It's like it's like Brett, isn't it? It's like counselling. I'm thinking, what the hell? I had some. I had some bad moments didn't I <laughs> some embarrassing moments in my career so Everton away Goodison I'm a young lad warming up I've got my squad number by the way which I'm delighted at 27 running up the line um, and then I see like Tony Park shouting down the line so I look behind me one of the first team is here I'm like yeah mate you, you want shit I think I'm not going on here um, so he's like no Donny you're on so I'm fucking honest with me stomach like I'm thinking fucking this is amazing <laughs> come on but I'm so nervous so anyway I go on and I go off the front I'm on about three or four minutes I get the ball I have a little mazy I go past I think Craig Short actually funnily enough played for um, Big Herman Munster played for um, <laughs> for Everton I go past them thinking I'm fucking on fire here like I'm doing alright anyway get it again make something happen I'm thinking, I'm this is where I belong here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've like, arrived. I'm fucking here, by the way. I'm anyway, about 10 minutes, 10 minutes I've been on the pitch. Um, Martin Darlene and Marco Matarazzi getting a little scuffle. So I think someone had spat and one had spat at the other, vice versa. I don't know what happened. Anyway, got sent off. So Darlene gets sent off. So I, I'm chirp. By the way, was that, I was super confident as a young kid, right? Eighteen. So, I, <laughs> so I'm thinking, come on, lads. So I'm clapping. I'm clapping, lads. Keep our heads up. We'll be all right. <laughs> I'm eighteen, like. Yeah. I'm saying, hey, hey, Lee. Listen, let's get a good shape and we'll be all right. We'll, <laughs> we'll grind it. We'll grind it out. And I, I don't know who it was. It was either Tim Shaw or Billy McKinley. Just looked at me and went, and I looked round. Fucking 27. <laughs> I'm, fucking, I'm, fucking I'm coming off. So anyway, so I've gone from saying, come on, lads, grind it out, to looking, thinking, all the Blackburn fans in the corner were sh- shouting my name when I come on, to like, just, I'm just, I just trudge off. I'm thinking, fucking hell, Roy Hodgson's there. 18, I'm like, fuck it. Fucking fucking so anyway, I get in the bath, and it was a, it was the it was the days where you could you could go for a pint. When I was 18, 19, you could you could go for a pint. No one really give a give a toss really at night on a Saturday. It was kind of the dumb thing, I suppose. When I was when, when we first yeah. coming through, like if you didn't go out Saturday night as a footballer, you fucking, you you're a weirdo, eh? You're wasting it. Weren't you? Yeah, you. You're fucking, wasting I remember your life. The, the, hey, listen, the senior players used to say to me, hey, poor. Like, I mean, Gary Flitcroft, he'd, he'd say to me, um, poor, Niall Quinn used to say it'll be over like that. He said, never miss a night out. Never, ever miss a <laughs> night out. You know, you, you go out and every night out because before you know it, it'll be gone. And you know what? I thought, you know what? He's probably right. Just enjoy life as well. So Saturday night. So I'm in the bath at Everton. It was the baths then. It weren't showers. We were um, unhygienic at the time. Weren't we? oh, everyone dived in oh, the bath the at the time. Ball. In the big, you know, towel baths. And I'm in there on my own. I'm thinking, fuck it. I'm spewing like... Because I'm thinking, I've just made my debut. 
and the ex-Inter Milan manager has made me look like a right mug here. <laughs> and now I'm going to get buzzed off when I go out tonight. <laughs> so he comes in and he's like, hey, and I'm not even going to try his his voice now. I'll do one. It's not bad. <laughs> it's all right. Anyway, he says, uh, yeah, listen, you, you keep your confidence up. And I went, what do you mean? And I'm 18. <laughs> and I'm going, what do you mean? Confidence. Is Just this in the changing room? This is in, everyone's like, yeah. Yeah. everyone's yeah. getting changed. And I'm in the bath on my own, gutted. I'm spewing like, I've got plenty of confidence. And I'm like, <laughs> what do you mean? I said, I've got to go out tonight. Because <laughs> it weren't like an issue where I was going yeah. out. I said, I've got to go out with all my mates and you've just subbed me after putting me on a sub and I'm going to get fucking buzzed off all night now. I said, fucking hell. Anyway, that was that. A few weeks later, um, yeah, I could tell loads of, you know, Roy Hodge, so. so Newcastle away, a few weeks later, yeah. I think it was. Um, this is your second game. Do you, I, do you know what? I'm not sure. It was that long ago. I'm not sure. Um, but I just remember piv- pivotal kind of points in, yeah, in my yeah. career. I, don't, I think it was around that time. Anyway, playing Newcastle, St. James's in the Cup. So I'm up there. I'm sub shock. <laughs> <laughs> right? And I'm warming up again just before it goes to extra time. So I get on. So I'm thinking, same again. Fucking get in. Like. But again, super confident. Goes to penalties. So Roy Hodgson is going round. I'm, I'm lively as out extra time all the lads are like nervous and I'm not giving a shit like I'm, I'm fucking cut my <laughs> penalties eh can well, I take I, them all so I'm going <laughs> Tim Sherwood were captain I'm going hey pens eh can't wait <laughs> <laughs> and they're all looking at me going Tim what's he doing this kid like it's too much it's too much so um, so Rogerson says like we need five penalties eh? I'm straight away me, no me, one me. said anything I said I'll take one Straight away, out of the bag. I'll take one. And he like looks at me and thinks, you, like, give me a little like... Custard. Yeah, well, fuck, custard, we'll right in the face. And, like, <laughs> let, let's see if we, we don't, we want to protect you, son. So <laughs> anyway, it goes round. We only get four penalty takers. So um, he, he says, um, I said, listen, give it me. I'm, I'm ready. Let me take it. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> this is me calling. <laughs> let me take one. And, and, and everyone, listen, all the, view the big hitters had half crumbled. It crumbled, let me tell you. Um, so I, um, I'm saying, listen, give it anyway. Right, Dunny, you can have one. So he said, um, he said, what do you want, first or fifth? I went, oh, I'll give me the fifth one. I'll win it for us. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, fifth. <laughs> there is a good ending to it, by the way, because it could have been a lot worse. <laughs> so a fifth penalty comes up. I goes and scores. Fucking get in. All our Blackman fans are in that corner. I go over to the Newcastle fans. Listen, I've never scored before. <laughs> so I've, I've never played really in front of fans. So I go over like that. And I just see loads of black and white fans going, fucking white guy, black guy. And I think, get out wrong end here. <laughs> and over I go. But, nah. Good, That's a winner good, as well. Good days, yeah. Good winner. days. Brian Kidd obviously coming after, yeah. after Hodgson. Quite an exciting young squad. That the real, you know... Do, do you know what? Oh, I, I remember Brian. Here. I remember Brian Kidd's first ever session, right? So we've gone from Roy Hodgson, Continental, yeah. probably a lot more standing around and you know working on our shape and stuff like that. A lot of rest to Brian Kidd coming in from Man United. Now, I remember far end of the training ground. Fucking hell! I was going dizzy. It was that hard, you know, from going to loads of high intensity stuff. The, the lads were knackered, you know, in his first session. I thought. I'm so unfit here. <laughs> like it was tough, you know, a lot of small-sided little possessions. Um, but just unfortunately, it didn't it didn't quite work out yeah. for him because he was a he was a really good really good coach. Um, what was his man, what, did he struggle with the man management? I think side of I it? think he was such a nice guy that he he kind of didn't you know maybe know exactly what he wanted. You know, he he was a good good coach. He was a you know he's, he was a, he was on the grass coach. Um, and you know, I funny, funny like Gary Croft, who was playing fullback, uh, and one of the games we're playing, and he had Crofty on a joystick, like literally, Crofty, higher, Crofty back, 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 and it was literally like it was like literally movements of a foot, and Crofty'd be like, like one step, yep, yeah, there, you're fine. <laughs> Crofty left, and he like take one step left, yep, yeah, you're, you're fine there. Just so like on his shape yeah. and distances between the back four and that. So we came in at, uh, came in at half time, Crofty sits down and he says, for fuck's sake, I'm glad I'm on the other side of the pitch. Because it was near the bench. You know, he's telling him everything. He's just getting him through the game. So Crofty sits down, he goes, fuck, fuck, fuck for that. 
fucking on the other side now. He won't have me on this fucking joystick he's got me on. Anyway, he came in and he said, like, listen, I'm just gonna make a just gonna make a quick change. He said, Crofty, you go from right back to left back. <laughs> 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 Crofty was like, oh, the fuck. <laughs> I think that might have been him just saying, Crofty, you're not good enough. Yeah. Sorry, Crofty. I need to keep my eye on you. I need to keep my eye on you. Yeah. <laughs> but um, maybe that was his opinion, huh? How good was he, Donny? Two guy. Ah, oh, fucking hell. He could make the make the ball dance, couldn't he? Let's be honest, he was he was amazing to play play with. To be honest, he talent wise, I mean we got him at the probably the back mm. end or something. Well, I say back end, he might have been twenty eight, twenty nine. Yeah. Uh, I remember a good few years. I remember Steve Bruce saying Brian Robson said well, they must have played him in Galatasaray in a UF European Cup game. And he said, imagine two guy when he was younger, when he did all that, and he could run. Yeah. I thought, fucking hell, that must have been mm. that must have been scurvy. Two guy and being able to run. I mean, <laughs> it was he was, um, you know, he's so unassuming too. So I think that's what kind of, um, you know, that's why all the fans love him because he was like, he literally. He, he, he's the only person I ever know to get away with it. He'd literally, you go in the toilet in the changing rooms, and Tugs would be on the toilet just smoking away like, <laughs> like Tugs were going out in ten minutes. Leave it with me. <laughs> <laughs> it was, um, it, it was great. But but what he did do, like when you played with him, it was hard work at times because he sat in the middle, and we and back then it was four four fucking two, weren't yeah. it? Mike Bassett, you, you know, you had two midfielders, but two sat in the middle, so you're constantly having to run around him <laughs> and do all these donkey work, yeah. and he just get it zing, get it zing, goal. Oh, he was, he was, he was unbelievable though. What a player, and 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 what a good guy as well. Yeah. Good looking Pro- fella, wasn't he? Proper good guy. Had a nose like you though. <laughs> <laughs> did you have a cup fight? Did he have a cup fight? No, no. Is he a chef like? Oh, uh, master chef champion. Was he? Is yeah. it? What in Turkey? Yeah. Is he really? Yeah, Russell up a kebab. Right. I wonder Jeez, where that I didn't know that. Have you ever cooked for you? Never heard that well, question. Before. I weren't privileged for that. No. <laughs> but but you know, two guys. Um, Two guys' wife is he was a top basketball, basketball player as well yeah, in yeah. Turkey. So tall. like in terms of oh, tall, yeah, yeah. Tall. He went tall, it? Loved um, loved the casino, too. Yeah. Loved the casino. Yeah, I go in there with him and he played roulette and he played neighbours. It was neighbours or something. I don't even understand it, but he would, he'd love it. He'd love the casino. Yeah, yeah Who top else lad. Was there that time? Top lad. Um, that listen, we had a, we had listen we had Corley was there. Yeah. Andy Cole, Dwight York. Dwight York. Um, Duff, Janssen, you know, Enningberg, yep. you know, which probably um, you know, really, really good squad, you know. And let's be fair, I think we finished fifth or sixth mm. in the league. Was so it under Sooner's that? Yeah. So you'll have played with Savage at Birmingham and Blackburn? Then? Sav at Birmingham and, and Blackburn, mm. yeah. I won about him last week. Yeah. Be in a bottle uh, when that's labelled him as. As in what, just a... Yeah, just over. busy so, and... i tell you what, though, I've got to say, Sav is uh, he's probably one of the nicest guys you'll meet, you know. We got him quite well, you know, but but it started bad. The, the relationship started not great, I've got to say. So I came in, so when Brucey signed us um, in the summer, end of the season, I went to Birmingham, obviously. I was Blackburn, I was number eight, I was up and coming, you know. You say, you know, full of confidence. Yeah, I'm full of beans, like. Um, <laughs> and and what I didn't know is um, Sav was Sav was number eight, wasn't he, at Birmingham? So I got in my contract that I'd be number eight when I signed. I said, listen, this is fine, I'll sign. But we, you know, my agent was saying, but he's going to be number eight. So what Sav did was, I think he went over, got a tattoo on his arm, number eight, because he wanted number eight as well. Um, yeah, to be fair, he knows this as well. He has some rascal tattoos that he did have. <laughs> so, um, so he had number eight put on his put on his arm, you know. So first day of pre-season, you know, we're, we're cracking on and that. Brucey pulls me. And he has obviously been thinking about it a little bit because Sav's been in, knocked on the door and said, fucking hell, what, why is Dunny number eight like? And the lads, to be fair, used to say, Dunny, wind him up, wind him up, wind him up. <laughs> wind him up. The same same, same yeah. position and stuff like that. Um so I goes in the um, goes in goes in the office with Brucey and he's like, listen, fucking, I've got a bit of a dilemma, mate. He said, um, yeah, I know I said, I, you know, it's you, you're going to be number eight, but Sav's gone away in the summer. He's got this tattoo and he's come in <laughs> and said, look, how can you give give Dunny the eight when I've got this tattoo? So he's like, listen, the listen, what what do you think, like? Um, and do you know what? At the time, I was just I just got there and I thought, listen, I'll 
let, it go. let it go. Let him have let him have number eight. So I said, listen, let, let's have, have it, no problem. Anyway, I was on penalties at Blackburn. He was on penalties at Birmingham. So, I've, so <laughs> first first preseason game, right? So it was always a little bit of a, I suppose a little bit of a conflict between me and Sav. And Sav obviously had, you know, Dev was there, Jeff Horsfield and all the lads. And they, they've got a relationship and they probably looked at, at me at times and I'd just come in through the door and fucking call in the shots a little bit. <laughs> but they probably thought, fuck this I'll lad. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll fuck take this it. lad. So anyway, Burton away, first pre-season game. So I goes in the box, I, defender's running. I just nicks it. I thought I'd get a penny here. So... Nicks it, he's took me down. The ball's gone off the advertising board, bounced straight back more or less into my hands. So I've got the ball. Right. <laughs> Written in the stars, isn't it? Right. Sav storms over to me. I'm on pens. I said, What do you mean you're on pens? I said, I'm on them now. He said, No, no, I'm on pens. I said, <laughs> he said, I'm, all, I'm, on, I'm on them. And he was going nuts like, I said, I'm on pens. I, I, I want it. I'm, I'm on it. I'm the penalty taker at Birmingham. I said, No, you were. The penalty to him. <laughs> now I'm on him. So, but he, but he couldn't do anything. So I've put the ball on the spot. He's still like literally, you know the the um, Full uh, Mitrovic the, and yeah. um, Kamara, 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 Kamara yeah. the other way. It was like that. So he's right on me. He's right on and he's he's nibbling. I'm on him. I'm on pens. I said you're not on pens, mate. I'm taking him now. I've just won <laughs> it and I'm getting. I'm taking it. Simple as. He's going, I oh, know. He's going, I hope, I hope you miss. I hope you miss. And he's trying to get in my head, right? So I'm thinking, oh, jeez. So I put, so, so I goes up to the, I replace it on the spot. I walks back. I have a little thing. And I think, you know what? So I, I walks up to the ball. Everyone's on the, on, the, on the D by this point, all ready for me to go. So I've literally gone up. I've picked it off the spot. I've turned round and I've gone, Sav, do you want it? He walks in the area and he says, yeah, chop top man. I said, nah. <laughs> <laughs> and put it back on the put it back on the spot. So you've been put it, here about put two it, weeks. Oh man, no, put it back on the spot. And I'm like half chuckling and the lads are like go the lads are like nervous laughing, going, Oh god, that's that's funny, but like he's 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 gone off he's walking back to the halfway line. So when I walk when I turn around to walk back to take my my start position to take the pen, he's walking off and I can see him shouting over at Brucey going, he's a brick, he's a brick, <laughs> and he's a brick, get, get me out of it. <laughs> so, so anyway, I scores and that was it. Um, so that obviously oh, didn't speak to me again, you know. So so it was a good, it was a good, um, what, would I, what would I say there? So we, got a, we get another penalty at Leeds and this is where Bruce he's seen, he seen an out for him. So we get a penalty at Leeds, put it on the spot. I'm on the pens now, obviously. Oh, no. <laughs> First game of the season, we got one. Tottenham. So, keeper saves it, and I put the rebound in. <sighs> I think, fuck it, I'll be fair. Sav take it. No, I took it. All right. Keeper saves it. I think uh, Sullivan might have saved it, I think it was. And I put the rebound in. Anyway, away we go, run off. Sav's probably walking back to halfway line. Fuck it, <laughs> not having that. Like. Anyway, comes to Leeds a few weeks after. Or whatever it were, a couple of months. Sav's still not speaking to me, by the way, really. He's at least like quite hostile. Yeah. You know, he's thinking, fucking dunny, what a prick, right? <laughs> so, gets a penalty at Leeds. Robo moves early. So, he saves it. And, and do you know what? It was a good pen. It was proper down in the bottom corner. But because he's gone early and he weren't allowed to, he saved it. Guess right where? Because I always used to put my penalties on there. I never thought about going that side. Fuck it. God knows why. Um, so, retake. So, and a retake. What was a retake for? Because oh, he's gone early. early. Right, so sorry. He's, he's gone early, hasn't he? So you think, right, that, that should be, he's cheated he me really. Him, so I should it? still get to take the penalty. Bruce is on, Donny, let's have, have a go. Oh. <laughs> thinking. So, I, so I ended up not getting it. So Sav then took the rebound. To be fair, straight over. I, I, was, I wasn't really, really that bothered about, you know, as long as we scored yeah. as a team, I was fine. Um, I'm fucking lying. Yeah, you're playing nice. <laughs> it is a so, so, you know what? So still, it was still hostile. It was probably from me going in July. It was probably December. Christmas do time. Christmas do mate, right? <laughs> and we got a Nottingham. We got a Nottingham, and um, look, listen, Sav used to get loads of abuse when he went out, and it was poor, like, because he's a good lad. He's a nice, he's a nice fella, right? So these lads are in the club chirping away at him being abusive like 
So Sav, Sav and me at this point are still a little bit, we speak, but it's like not mates. It's not really that, that tight, you know? So I'm looking and I'm thinking, you know what? The fucking, these lads are out of order here. So I bowls over, probably had a fancy dress on. Looking right <laughs> so I went over to him and, you know, without me sounding like 10 men, I just put it on my toes like and said, listen, fucking carry on with that. We'll, We'll be having it, and to be fair, I would fucking delight the lad shit themselves. <laughs> <laughs> so I felt fucking, if they'd have said, "Let's fucking go outside," I'd fucking me arse have gone. <laughs> I'd have said, "No, you're right." <laughs> you give him a bet. South, they want you outside. Anyway, the, the lads back down. Like I went over all aggressive, and like <laughs> they piped down. Anyway, from that moment, Sav was like, you know, he kind of broke the ice. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and he, he was all right after that. And then listen, we formed a formed a decent relationship going forward, and then obviously he left, and I joined up with him. Um, Few years out, that, yeah. trouble with injuries then at Birmingham, Birmingham, but that point because you could have gone to Bolton as well, couldn't you? Yeah, that was, you were very close. To you know what? Before. You're right. It was, um, poor, what was it? It was, you know, getting towards the end of the January transfer window. Uh, Big Sam had come in, they'd agreed. I'd done my medical, the medical was about two or three days to be honest, quite long, quite thorough. Um, so I was actually, I had my Bolton training kit on um, and I was, uh, my agent at the time, his offices were across the across the road from the Reebok. So I had my training kit on and I got a call, I spoke to Mark Hughes, who I'd played with previously and I was like, okay, no, we've, we've, um, we've, got a, we've had a bid accepted as well. Listen, before you sign there, just come over and have a, have a word. So I thought, you know what, I probably rushed the Birmingham one when I went there from Blackburn. I said, I'm not going to do that. I'm a bit old. Was Chelsea there. sniffing as well at one point? Chelsea, Everton, Middlesbrough. Yeah, and um, ended up going to ended up going to Blues. Like, but ugh, listen, my agent back then again. You know, he looked after Brucey as well, so right. it kind of. It, yeah. Listen, I made the decision. I suppose I've got, I've got to always stand by it. But you know, he did push me, push me that way when. When really now, if it was me acting with one of our lads, I'd, I'd get it all out. I'd have a look at everything. Yeah. So I mean, basically, the agent would have earned more if you went to Birmingham. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think so. I think the um, I think the commission was more heavy going there than yeah. than what it would have been elsewhere. So it's wrong. So now, it's poor, right? Like, it's Fuck poor. Me. Listen, looking back, nah, yeah, but like you said, not people always look after themselves, don't they? Yeah, if, exactly. If, exactly. But um, but when I'm in the when I'm in the in my Bolton training kit, I'm you know I'm more or less. You know, and, and John Williams at the time knew that, so Bolton had paid for all my scans. So what had happened, even though they pay for them, any scan you have in a medical, that's yours. That right. belongs to me. Right. Not, even though Bolton had I didn't paid know, for I never, it. I didn't even thought you, know, you went to Blackburn. My <laughs> scans, <laughs> John Williams, the chief exec, knew that. Like, he was smart. So he just literally didn't have any, didn't have to do a medical really it was literally as soon as we agreed <laughs> personally he just went right we'll have what, like an extra team yeah. we we'll, you know, we'll have them scans and and kind of it was really uh, listen once I came through here again and I spoke to him it was Blackburn fine Blackburn yeah. fine I'm coming back home I suppose um, but the hardest thing about it was I'm, it's a bit of a dilemma really because Bolton have took the time to go through everything and, and make sure I'm there you know um you know, the hardest thing for me was, I thought, you know what? Let be a man, and phone Sam up. Because a lot of players, I think, would have just, you know, just yeah, just gone on side and said, you know, it won't matter that. I've just been him like. Um, so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna phone him. So I phoned him up, and he said, all right, son. I said, yeah, just listen. I think I, I think I owe it to you to, to to give you a conversation to to say I'm I'm gonna go to Blackburn, and he went, oh fucking hell. He said, as soon as you went for a medical, I knew we'd lost you. <laughs> he kind of said it was our fault, it took too long. Yeah. Um, so anyway, as it as it turns out, I think only 12 months later or whatever it yeah. was, he comes through the through the door. Good job call. you made that phone. Yeah. I remember, I remember um, I were having a brew or something in the well, canteen. Right yeah, it, look, yeah he said, listen, I understand. I know you're a Blackburn fan. Good luck, son. Blah, blah, blah. And I said, you know what? I really appreciate everything you've done, it, and that was our kind of way. Uh, Come round, we'll have a pint of wine. <laughs> they said, twelve months later, he's um, fucking Sam Allardyce, made Blackburn manager. I thought, oh fucking hell, I don't know where this is going. Like, how am I gonna, how am I gonna be here now? And I was having a brew in the canteen, and he comes through the door again, like Suey. He's got an aura about him. He's a good guy, Sam. Mm -hmm. 
and he just uh, he went, oh fucking hell, we eventually we eventually get to work together. Son. <laughs> kind of, but I, I kind of looked and thought, you know what? If I hadn't made the call, yeah, I don't know how that would. I don't know what I don't know how it would have. I don't know. I think after that, he kind of thought, you know what? It do for me. He's got a little bit of bollocks about yeah. him. Yeah. Um, so I kind I, th- I think it stood me in good stead. You know, how yeah. good was he? Because he's a bit of a. I suppose now he's a bit of a laughing stock, isn't he? You know, if somebody gets a sack bottom of the Premier League, it's like, oh, give it to Big Sam and... Yeah, but is that a laughing stock or is that someone really good? Mm. You I know. know. He gets well, you know, you know what I mean, though, don't you? Yeah, In the media, I mean, every kind of... Sort of yeah, struggling all fucking Sam over there. Yeah, he's Listen, more of I've, a meme now I've, than a um, manager. I've had some really good managers, but Sam's right up there. And the one, one, yeah. one of the best ones I've had, you know, he, he's fucking brilliant. Like, man management is second to none. He was, yeah. a, he was, he was great. You know, I remember... Um, just little things he'd do, you know. I, I, he's the only manager I know that's fined a, a player two weeks' wages and running out to training, and he's gone, fucking hell, killed me there, but I do love him, like. That was Jay Roberts, just yeah. been fined two weeks. What yeah. for? Do you know what? Good question. I don't know if it's like, we all, um, I, I tell you what it was, we went to Sydney. We went to Sydney, pre season trip. Um, we're over there, and he said, listen, no one out, but obviously it was me. Keith Andrews, <laughs> Rob Hall, Vince Greller. There's loads, of, there's about an half of the squad. So we all went in this bar. We're all in this little corner having a drink and that. Fucking staff walks in. It's where I'd be on fucking trees and that. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Hall's at the toilet. Rob Hall comes walking through, <laughs> bumps into Sam and all the staff. He's gone, lads. To be fair, Rob Hall done great for us. He's like, lads, not happy. Let's get off. So we all went over. Well, did he take the... He fell on his sword. So, yeah, he done, he done well for his Robo. Like, so there was a few of us out. Um, next day, got up, Robo, back home, sent home. Sure. Yeah, sent him home. Sent him home from Sydney. Shit. So he, um, you know, we were all there. He said he'll never play for us again, blah, 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 and all that. He did. But yeah. it was just his way, you know, and, and he fined him a couple of weeks' wages, I think, and, you know. You're uh, riding in brambles. Know, and, you know, yeah. Fucking shit houses, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. He kind of thought, fuck it, I bet he's uh, just come on his own. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, Has uh, he J- just come out yeah, and put a on his own? J- Jason Roberts will never play at this. Club. But yeah, you're right, Gaffer, it's out of order. <laughs> <laughs> we're, here, we're here to do pre season, we should be getting fit. <laughs> I can't believe he's gone out on his own, that club. Cheers, Robbo. <laughs> um, you tell that story when he, because um, he was under pressure, wasn't he? And I think people, the fans wanted him out, especially. Didn't he call a meeting? And got all the players and staff and he said, I'm the... Oh, fucking hell, yeah, he, uh, he got us all in. He was a bit of pressure, but not a lot. And he got us all in. But the, the one when he um, he gets us all in, he said, I'm the fucking manager. Yeah. And never, not one of you will be ever fucking good at me at this job. So do as I fucking say and all that. Yeah, he was, listen, he was good. We all respected him loads. Uh, which is why it came as a real shock. You know, I think we're 10th in the league. Yeah. Right? I think we're... 10th in the Premier League Re- Venkis Venkis come in just, just got shut straight shut, away took off and it happens so many times doesn't it when new owners come in they get rid of the manager make a, make a mark and, and that's how it mm-hmm. were but um, you know he, funny Sam like he'd, he'd be all everyone thinks he's long ball he's actually he only gives you a, a little platform to play off but then when you when you get on it he wants you to play like you know what I mean you know, look at all the players he's signed Jorkiev F. Kocha yeah. you know, he, he, he's good got players, loads of good talented footballers that he's that he's, that he's you know, he's, he's, he's signed and that. So, well, out, there, out there once in training, but he was always very much, certain players can do it, but these fucking, these can't. Fucking, they're not good enough it's to do it. water carriers. Yeah, just you fucking do what I'm telling and let the other lads do it. So, <laughs> so we're doing like a 11 v 11 on a Thursday. And he's, um, so I get to the ball, I get to turn, and like little, I'm playing off the front when Sam was manager. So I get to turn, fucking goes out, I get about 20 yard, and I fucking cuts on me right, Strikes it and he hit the he hit the crossbar and pulled you know the top corner like and went off for a goal kick and he went fucking hell get it because he was always in for get it wide and he give a stat like sixty percent of crosses will turn out a goal but shots from outside the box was fifteen percent so get it out wide get balls in the box and then we can go from there so I had a shot hit the bar goal kick he went fucking get it wide 
get it wide and then we'll have a chance. You don't shoot from there. So I'm <laughs> thinking, I'm shooting every time I get it from there. Like. <laughs> so anyway, I'm running back and I said, I'm fucking, I'm shooting from there all the time. He said, listen, son, you fucking, you keep shooting, son, but I'm going to let the rest of these fuckers know, aren't we? This <laughs> 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 was kind of funny, like. <laughs> I, just, I just went off chuckling, like. <laughs> and then, you know, then we're hearing... Um, Couple of the ma- couple of other managers were in for it. I don't know if Neil Warnock were mentioned and uh, and a few others. And then, you know, Henning Bird got appointed. And I thought, you know what? Fair enough, right? I played with Henning for four or five years or whatever it was. I thought, you know, captain material. You know, he, he, he do, he'll do all right. But to be honest, you know, again, difficult circumstances for him. But you know, I don't know if I, I don't think he was ready. You know, right. <laughs> Top that, it, it you was, know, Allardyce, like you said, one of the best managers, man, man, and then all yeah. of a sudden you've got this right, rotation. Yeah, just a real... Loads of managers that probably aren't Conveyor ready belt of, of managers that aren't ready. Just getting you know, into the game, really. And, you yeah. know, Henning, you know, I, I think he's back managing again, isn't he? I'm not Henning sure. Or something, but oh, it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't great, you know. At what happened time. at the Christmas party? Did some, was it a comedian trying to get him up or something like oh, that? Oh, that was, that was like... Honestly, my cheeks were hurting so much. Like, <laughs> what, tell that one. Were, so, but, you know what it's like? Christmas parties, the lads, you know, have a few drinks, don't they? And then they usually shoot off to Manchester. But I always felt that I thought, you know what? I'm sticking around yeah, here and just just chatting to the to, to, to club officials and yeah. the staff, like in the ticket office girls, the club shop people, you know, just and just you know have a have a chat with yeah. them and you know be in their company because it's probably the only time they really really they really see the lads. So anyway, there's, a, there's this guy and the entertainer was getting all the room up and all that and he's like, fucking come on, let's go, let's go, let's get the party going. So I'm sat there thinking and, and the lads are filtering out at this time. So there's me and Jason Law. So I'm sat there. Anyway, Blackie and the staff table are over there. Henning's over on that table. And we're here, there's only two or three of us, I forget who else was there. So guys here on the dance floor and they're all going mad like. So anyway, it goes around all the room and he said, look, I need, I need, um, I need five, five volunteers. Come on up, you get, let's go, let's go. So anyway, he ends up, pick, you'd have got picked by the way, because he was going round, he was picking everyone with a bald head. <laughs> and it was, only after, it was only after, I thought, you're on your Christmas party, you don't want to get someone with her, because what he did next, you know, you'll, you'll realise, you don't want to mess your hair up. So he got them, he got them these, um, these stockings, these like dark stockings, Stockings, this guy. He's put them over the, um, put them over the, over everyone's head. Like bank robbers. <laughs> bank so they're like, and then give them all afros, put them on, and then given him an inflatable instrument. Oh right? my word! So, but the last one. So he's got four, and he's looking around the room, and he, this guy doesn't have a clue who anyone is, right? Yeah. So he goes over to the staff table, and he's going, yeah, "Come on!" And then he's going, "Pawn." No, no. <laughs> so, so, and the manager of the football club, I can't do this. So, but everyone's watching it, and he's on the mic, and he's going, "Come on!" And he's putting him under severe pressure to cave in, right? Severe pressure. So he's going, "Come on, let's go, let's go." So all the room at this point's going, and, 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 and I'm thinking, I'm like that in my chair, thinking, "Oh my God, what's going to happen here?" Like, so anyway, Henning reluctantly, very reluctantly, gets up, and it's like, right. So he gets him up, he gives him this um, this tie over his head after a while and he's got this thing and then all of a sudden blame it on the buggy blame it on the buggy comes on and, 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 but remember the four other people that are on the dance they're on their Christmas party yeah. they're loving it <laughs> they're like oh. and if one's got a trip and he's got his <laughs> and Enning is not moving at all and he's just like that with this thing on his head with, with, <laughs> with his ties on dressed, his head dressed <laughs> Dressed as one of the Jackson Five, <laughs> right? With this inflatable instrument, afro, tight on his head, and he's just not moving. But the other ones are making it look worse because they're all over the shop. Oh. And it was so cringy. I'm looking at the staff table, and I'm behind my drink going like that, and Blackie's going, like, all the, Ian Brunskill, the first team coach, is like that. Mims is like that. What is happening here, like? So anyway, halfway through the song, ending, worst thing he could have done, really. Takes his wig off, throws it, takes his thing off, throws it, throws the thing and gets back to his seat and everyone's like, 
Oh, so the Jackson five went to Jackson, Jackson four. four. Like in, in matter <laughs> of Michael's 30, left. Uh, uh, yeah, a minute later. <laughs> so I'm thinking, oh my god. But I was honestly, my cheeks, I was, my shoulders and my cheeks were killing me. So anyway, next day, the lads have half gone. So there's only a couple of us here. So he could have probably got away with it. So anyway, gets on the train and before we go on a warm up, calls all the lads in. I said, in we come. <laughs> so we all go in like and I thought I'll, I'll try and do him a favour like in a minute because I knew what I was going to say so he said listen I'm glad you all you know maybe enjoyed the Christmas party last night you probably heard what happened to me and you know I I didn't really feel very comfortable with what <laughs> happened and, and, and stuff like that so please just you know don't like and he was like he was obviously a little bit um, bothered by yeah. getting up and to be fair the guy was poor doing that he should have just said no I'm the manager yeah, go and yeah, find yeah. someone else um, so he's, he's like listen I don't, I don't want to um, you know, dwell on it too much and I just went uh, gaffer just a quick one he said don't blame the lads blame it on the buggy <laughs> 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 and, and he went right off you go go on up <laughs> Didn't play again for about two months. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds all right, left, doesn't he? Oh, Do you know, as a lad, would he have found it when you played with him as no, a player? Course. Would he have found it good crack, or would he have still been? Um, he was serious. Henning was serious. Henning was this, a good guy, but serious. And so I'm not. I'm not sure which way. But in terms of like, you know, th- them little things, I'm thinking I'm being all right yeah. and trying to give him a listen. I played. With, you know, I played. Yeah. You know, and, and that was it. <laughs> so did he spit the dummy out with you? Then? I think I didn't play for six weeks. Really? Something like that, so I think he held it against you. Yeah. Know? Okay, another one, like like we said about um, Henning going to see him and you know not playing again for six weeks. Same thing happened with Sparky. So, <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to we go training the day before. My boots split, so I think fucking hell. I'll tell you what I'll do. We're going to the hotel at Manchester. We're playing City away at the at the stadium. So at the Etihad. So I'm like um, I'll, on my way. There's a little sports shopping centre next to the, the what, what was the MEN arena just a little shopping complex there but I'll go in J, JJB and DW or whatever it's called now um, and get some boots so anyway I goes in shop <laughs> I've got a kick I'm playing in three hours or something four hours <laughs> at the Etihad so I goes in this shop I said excuse me mate I'm looking for some boots uh, <laughs> but they had not you know like you had the, the good ones and you have your, you have your sh- the crap the ones cheapy, don't you yeah. the cheap ones yeah. and they're the plastic <laughs> We said, oh, we've only got these your size. So I <laughs> fucking these plastic boots. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what, I don't even know what they were. Nike, I didn't even wear Nike, they didn't even fit me. So anyway, I fucking get these boots and I'm trying them on, thinking, fucking hell, I can't play in these. But I had no option. So I goes to the hotel, get some food, blah, blah, goes to the game, puts these, fucking hell. After 20 minutes, my feet are on fucking <laughs> New boots, <laughs> blisters on both back of my heels. My feet are like crammed up in the middle of them. I'm struggling, right? I can't even. Do you know when the ball comes into you and it's just spooning off your boot and I just couldn't feel the I ball? I like, too well, me- mate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're wearing corporate for all them years. Hey, I'm two sizes around. too small. Hey, I'm, That's why I was I'm running shy. around. I've got pins and needles in both feet. They're like, <laughs> they don't fit me that much. And I'm thinking, fucking hell, I'm just fucking got it here. Like, I'm fucking killing myself. You know, I've got everyone watching and fucking hell. Just killing myself, really. How unprofessional, you know. So anyway, we're one nil down. We get a corner late on. Ball comes in. Santa Cruz scores, but I'm offside. But then managed to. I don't know. Affected so, somehow. I had a little bit of the game. I had a little part to play in the goal. Anyway, we score one one. I think get in. Fucking had a, I didn't even touch the ball, but I felt like, like in my own mind. Like, <laughs> Just to make yourself half, feel bad. Half, half, assist that. Hey, good lads, get the boots back on. Right? So I goes in the changing room, and I was that bad. I was that bad I took my boots off and because I knew Sparky and Mike Bowen well and Eddie I put them on the other feet right <laughs> and all the lads are watching me it's like after the team talk so I walk up so I've got my left foot on my right and my left boot on my right foot they're, so they're pointed like that <laughs> so I walk over to them and I'm like gaffer a quick word I said I know why I were that bad and he looked down and my feet were spooned out like that <laughs> again like you laughed at the time, I didn't play for four weeks. <laughs> for another four weeks of not playing. Thought, I'm gonna have to learn to keep my mouth shut here. Like. Just pulling back to them earlier days at Blackburn, Juf. Juf is in the dressing room. Robbie Fowler. How'd you Growl, get on with Juf? Growl us. Robbie was top lad. Juffy, oh my goodness. You know, I've not met I've not met many, many characters like that guy, let me tell you. Um 
Listen, undoubtedly, when he was younger, probably a good player, you know, but I think I've seen the worst of him. Headstrong. You know, certainly off the pitch. I mean, you know, to come in, you know, when, it, when he went on loan to Rangers, we're struggling in a dogfight at the bottom of the bottom of the table. He came in with his came in with his medal. Listen to this. Came in with his medal to the training ground around his neck, <laughs> saying, "You were going down, and I've won this." I mean, it's a, just a, no. just a, just horrendous, you know. Um, so this is after his loan's finished. The what Scottish yeah, season? Yeah, Scottish season finished a little bit earlier. Yeah. So he came in and he's going, "You're going down," and still with the club, like you know, horrendous, horrendous banner. Um, but you know, you hear that many things, you know, it's probably. Probably. I'll tell you a funny story about Juve. Was you here then? No. Um, so I forget who the manager is. I think Sam, Big Sam was the manager. So it's Hatton Mayweather fight. So we're all in the all in the medical room and getting uh, massages and stuff. And then it was, it was like big big hype about the fight, you know. So I says, um, so the lads are all gone. I'm saying, I've got to back me, man. Like, I used to go all over watching Ricky like... Um, so I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm Ricky. And deep down, I thought, listen, it's a tough fight. And by the way, if Cortez would have let him fight, but he might have had half a chance. But as it turned out, he, every time he got inside, they broke him, right? It's not a uh, boxing podcast. We'll get Frank Bruno on if you want to go to that boxing. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so he gets in there, and we're all in. And he goes, oh, no, no, May- Mayweather will beat it. And I'm like, nah, I think, I think Ricky will give him some problems here, like. And so all the lads in there were going, whoa, who's going to win? Who's going to win? So he says, um, Mayweather. He said, well, we'll back it. So I was like, fuck it. I didn't really want to bet. <laughs> <laughs> I was at mass. But I, had to, I couldn't back down on it. So he said, a grand. So a grand. So I thought, for fuck's sake, yeah. Go on, a grand. I'll go, I'll go out and you go Mayweather. No one on the draw. So I was like that. So Monday morning came. Fucking get beat, didn't it? So I have a grand cash. Give it him. Oh, fucking killed me, it did. If you want to give it anybody, I didn't want it. Anyone else put him there. So (laughs) it gives him a fucking, gives him a thousand pound cash. Fucking hell. Anyway, I'm still laughing, rumbling. So Tuesday comes or whatever, the lads are like, oh, and I'm thinking, fuck it. And all I hear Monday is, Mayweather, Mayweather, Mayweather. So I'm thinking, fuck off. So (laughs) Tuesday comes, we're in the medical room again, and I'm still chirping up it. I'm going, fuck off. I'm like, listen, you fucking. Take that caravan off your bike, because every time I see you play, you're so slow. Like, and he goes, he goes, I'm faster than you. Again, the lads. <laughs> <laughs> so the lads go, oh, who's quickest? <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, God, yeah. Double the quits, done it. I'm thinking, oh, God, I give him two grand here, like, or he gives me my grand bike. I said, yeah, all right, then, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, so two, two grand. I'm thinking, right, so the lads say, right, Byline to halfway line, race before training. In confident. <laughs> Poor. At this moment in time, listen, I knew he was slow, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> I've got to say, I was like, Poor, I'm fucking carrying a few injuries here, like, I'm not sure. Anyway, so he goes for the warm up. Get Just before we go into the activation proper stuff, he says, um, The lads were, Whoa, whoa, gaffer, we've got a race going on. So I'm thinking, I'm, thinking, I'm, not, even, I'm not even warm here. So anyway, starts. Lads blow us off. Lads didn't quite blow us off, but they blew the whistle to start us off. Right? So anyway, Tight fucking, I slipped. First thing I did up on the top, slipped. So he's like five yards, six yards in front of me by the time I get going. Anyway, fucking just put the turbos on. I like you saying bolt. Fucking bad. <laughs> beat, beat, beaten by um, Brownie's nose. Oh, right? Fucking so, hell. So, you did but, honestly, a lot of time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the lads, the lads, like, listen, because not, not a lot of the lads really, he was, he was loud, Juffy. He was too much at times, right? So the lads were buzzing, I beat him. <laughs> so, anyway, so he owes me my grand back. Never, ever got it, right? So, but it was the best grand I ever spent because. Every time he piped up, I just used to say, keep the money. I know you're skint. <laughs> I know you're skint. So, and he just used to be quiet down. So I had him then. I had him. So every time he piped up and tried to give me a bet, I went, whoa, skint. Yeah. It, was kind of, it was kind of good. Like. But imagine that, having a bet. I give him it the next day, yeah. and he doesn't give yeah. me mine. Of, well, Bentley at Blackburn, as well, while you were over yeah, Bents, listen, he came in, he was fucking, I mean, listen, he was a, he was in the England squads, weren't he? You know, he was he was the new Bex. Did he give you a, a run for your money on the confidence scale? 
do you know what? He probably tr- he probably trumped me. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> he was he was a proper focused kind of you know f- whatever. He he didn't swear. He was on it. He was on it. You know, he, whatever what he thought in his mind, you won't you won't, you couldn't change his opinion football wise. But um, but again, funny lad. <clears throat> Um, bit of a jack the lad really he was a funny funny fella a um, couple of funny stuff. I think we, he got he got player of the year one year and we all went down Preston we had a dance off <laughs> we had a dance off <coughs> all the club came round and we're all in the middle he's got he's drinking beer out the about uh, out of his uh, player of the year trophy. Just took it out with it. Took it out with it. And he's got it in the club and he's just necking these drinks through the um, <laughs> through the thing. We were once out, where was we out? We were out in Manchester one night and um, party, I'll tell you what it was, it was a night. So there was like, we had a quite a good good mix. There were like me, Rocky Santa Cruz, Bents, Matt Derbyshire and a couple of others. And our, our, our girlfriends and wives got on quite well. So it was like, like half a dozen of us socialising quite quite a lot. Um, so for, I stopped going because, you know, my missus used to come with me and um, I used to think, after a couple of times, I thought, fucking hell, why she always sit across from Santa Cruz like? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I used to sit, I used to get pushed along to end. And, used to look at, and once, I remember looking down the table and my missus was just staring at him like that. I thought, fucking hell, Rocky. By the way, Top lad, yeah, Rocky, great, great. The, in terms of confidence, we'll go back to Bents in a minute. But confidence-wise, we play Wigan around Christmas time, right? And he scores an hat trick, right? And on his third goal, so he scored, he scored the two before celebration, just like away goals. Third goal produces a fucking Santa Claus out uh, hat. hat and puts it on. So he's not in there for the. So the he's third. played down. He's played with it down his shorts all the game. And only produced it on his third one. Oh. I mean, for me, like around Christmas, first one, I'd be like, get yeah. him straight on, come on. <laughs> now he waited. That's he cool, must, right? He must have he known he was thinking. Like, is he, I'm, go- I'm getting an hat trick now. Yeah. I'm getting an hat trick. You, you did a spell managing at Oldham. Fucking so Did you? Not fancy. Can we not talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> no, how did that come about? Listen, I went in as a player. I went in as a player. Um, and what, within four or five weeks, the, the manager was, you know, struggling a little bit, I suppose, because I went at back of um, back of pre-season, and the manager, uh, the, the chairman at the time, Simon Corney, he pulled me and said, "Look, I think I've made a mistake with the manager, and you know, you know would you would you take over?" And I'm like, "One minute, mate." You know, I felt you not see it coming. I did. Well, I just thought it's a bit. Who the manager? Uh, Darren Kelly. Um, so I'm like, listen, do you not f- just. Just let him go. Like we're, we're drawing games, we're drawing a lot of games, but not <coughs> winning them. It didn't change, by the way. Um, so I just said, "Listen, give it." Anyway, cut a long story short. And it, a couple of weeks after, we get beat off. I think Peterborough beat us five one at home, and obviously the, you know, it obviously happened. He yeah. loses his job. Uh, he pulls me, phones me up Saturday and said, "Listen, everyone in tomorrow. I want to, I want to see you ten minutes before the meeting." So I kind of half knew that what he was going to do. He, he kind of insinuated that maybe I'd take over as caretaker for the time being. Um, so ten minutes after he said, "Listen, you, you know, I want you to take 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 the job for the time being and see how you get on." So I was like, "Fair enough, like." So anyway, goes in with all the lads. I'm sat with the chairman. I uh, stood with the chairman. That I'd never seen like I was fucking sweating. Like all the lads around the change room, everyone in the squad, so like thirty odd fucking players in the change room, and they're all looking at me. And I've been a player with him, so I'm fucking taking the piss one day. The next yeah, day, I'm yeah. having to be serious. So he just he said, "Listen, Dunny's going to take over. Um, now he'll be the manager from now on. Um, over to you, Dick." <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was thinking, "Fucking hell!" I'm like, "Fuck knows what I said." Um, <laughs> fucking, I was nowhere near ready for it as well. But I just felt the transition between me being a player. You know, yeah. I probably regretted it later because you know. I, I still felt I had a little bit to give as a player, but you know. He, he Did you not go player manager? I went player manager to start with. Fucking impossible, yeah. by the way. So, one one of the games, uh, you know, if I go back to how I got it, I thought I need someone experienced with me, but there was no budget, so I couldn't take anyone. The only thing I had to do was take, take one of my mates off my coaching course, 
with me just to have my back really yeah. so there was yeah. me uh, Keith Brown and Dean Alden Brownie um, Scottish Keith Brown yeah, Keith yeah Keith Brownie. So, so where was that Barnsley yeah Barnsley, yeah. He was he was Ipswich's best player in the playoff final. You know, for two at way. Ipswich, yeah, yeah, at Wembley. Yeah, because he was Ipswich's best player. He <laughs> kept setting them up. He was he was instrumental in Ipswich. Yeah, he got, he got a promoted, Russia. didn't he? That's it. So <laughs> so I took Brown. And listen, so there's there's us three, and we're all the same age. So at the time, we're all under forty. So I'm like, listen, I need someone with us. Um, but anyway, they they, they won't let it happen. Um, so on one of these particular days, I, I got off to a decent start. We went to Doncaster and drew two all, which was a tough, tough game for us at the time. Just been beat five one. Went to Doncaster. I think I, I drew my first five games. But you, you look back now and think, you know what? If I just turned yeah. a few of them into wins, yeah. um, I, you know, it could have been different. But um, even if you win three, lose two. Yeah, you, you're you know, better off. You aren't you? Fucking four points on board, yeah. you? But I remember this one particular game. We're getting beat. Oh shit! The Oldham hadn't won at home for about eighteen months, I think it was, or a year, or whatever it was when we took over. It was like one of them. So it wasn't particularly me or anyone. It just it, the place was like a fucking bad, stinking mess at the time. You know, the, so much uh, animosity towards the chairman and the board from the supporters. You know, I, I, I feel looking back that they probably thought I shafted Darren a little bit. You know, I don't know. Um, so I probably t- I probably took over in a bad position really, mm. um, but I'm I'm at this game and I'm on the sideline. I'm I'm sub, but I'm manager. So I've got my kit on <laughs> underneath my trousers. Did she didn't pick yourself. So there's, there's only one man who can change this. Game. His legs yeah. have gone. <laughs> no, <laughs> but actually, <laughs> I, quite the contrary. So Dino comes down from the bench. He went, Donny, fucking need you, mate. You're gonna have to put yourself on. Straight away, I'm thinking, right, how do I play this? I've not warmed up. <laughs> right, I've not warmed up, so I need to have a warm up. So what do I do here? And see, these are all the things that you mm. you kind of probably don't think about no, when yeah. you're not when you're not putting. And that six yard area, you know, and that manager's area is a fucking lonely place when you're getting fucking beat and you're getting pumped and you're getting fucking dogs abuse behind you. I mean, loads of fucking cockroaches behind me. <laughs> cockroaches. <laughs> listen, <laughs> fucking all of them. Listen, they've had they've had success twenty years ago under Joe Royal. And they all think everyone's got to be fucking Joe Royal in the Premier League. They all they're all living twenty yards, uh, twenty years ago, mm. you know, which is fucking harsh. Young manager, first job, and all fucking getting on my case. Mm. Fucking. In the end, I just fucking them all off. I was going, you fuck off, you get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> fucking annoying. There's so much pressure. The pressure. Listen, when you sat there, you're thinking, okay, now don't don't bow down to them. But at, at some point, it comes, and you think, I've got to stick up for myself here. Um, so anyway this game Dino comes down go on get yourself on son I fucking need you so I'm thinking right if I was in the stand now these are the thoughts going around in my head if I was in the stand watching this game and I seen the player manager there take his bottoms off and start doing high knees (laughs) knees to chest down the fucking line you know and I was going to say like listen you know the crowd gives you a little little clap you know when you um you when the up. subs warm up, don't they? I'd have got fucking booed. <laughs> so I thought, I'm not sure I can do that. And plus, if I sat in the stand and I'd think, that's all about him, by the way. Look at him warming up on the side, thinking it's all about yeah. him. So I thought, oh, I don't really want to do that. So I literally went in the change rooms. Game's going on. I got on the little bike and I fucking pedaled for about two or three minutes. I thought, fucking hell, a little stretch. Done a couple of them. I touched <laughs> my toes a few times. A few stretches and that. And then came down, ready to go. When I'm nowhere near fucking ready to go, like, fucking stressed up to me eyeballs. Fucking ball comes into me. I think, oh, fucking hell, I'm back on it here now. Cuts inside. <laughs> cuts, hey, cuts inside. As a shot, pulls me a ductor. First kick. First kick. So I've got a groin fucking strain up. My first kick of coming on. <laughs> so for 15 minutes, the crowd's going, run around. I'm thinking, I fucking can't. We've used, <laughs> we've fucking used, we've used three subs. <laughs> Honestly, it was awful, awful times. Like, um, I mean, look back now, it was, um, listen, it was, a, it was an experience, you know, some good, some bad, you know, dealing, dealing with absolute, I've got to say, like, the, the, the chairman were the best. The chairman were the best of a bad bunch. I mean, you have some directors there. Fuck, you know, fucking nightmare. In what way? Well, just in fucking everywhere. <laughs> you know, every every night, ten o'clock, he'd call me. One of them, he'd call me up, 
and he'd say, listen, David, we need to protect you. You know, young manager, you're doing well, son. You're up against it. We're not supporting you financially. You know, you've, you've had no transfer window, all these things and all that. Anyway, I had a board meeting a couple of days later. So I'm in the, I'm in the board meeting. <clears throat> Simon's on conference call and the rest of the direct board of directors around us. Anyway, Simon says, yeah, I'm here. Blah, blah, blah. Another person was on. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, right, let's, let's start it off. This director says, um, I'll say something. David <laughs> started battering me. <laughs> Listen, I think you've got to get someone experienced with you. He was, he was wanting me to get shut of Brownie and, and Dino. And I'm thinking, what a minute? <laughs> you've just told me I'm not allowed to bring any experience in. And he's just been telling me for the last two weeks on the phone, we need to support you. And he's just flipped it on its head and started hammering me. So I'm thinking, one minute. To be fair, Simon stuck up for me and said, one minute, David's asked for all these things and we couldn't do it. You know, so yeah. I, I looking back, I was So what is he hated from the fans? I'm yeah, guessing. Simon, Simon's, yeah, he was... Is he still he's, there now, is no, it? No, he's sold out now. He's sold out now. So, um, listen, it was, it was tough times and, you know, it just coincided. It co yeah, a little bit. It leaves a bit of taste in my mind because, like, I, I'm doing... If I, if I would learn my lesson and I could do it again, I'd just think purely results. But because the infrastructure of the club was so bad, right, so bad, I was lending players taxi money to get in, petrol money, should I say, to get into training. They weren't paying them. Every every week, no pay. Battle, so as much as you mm. want to say, yeah, and you hear it all the time, listen, just get on with it. The footballers, they're all right. They can, you, but listen, anyone else, if you're going to work and you're not getting paid, there's problems isn't there in any walk of yeah, life it's always in the if back you're of your not head. getting paid that affects your performance at work yeah. without question so every every Friday I'm doing my pre-match meeting on the on the other opposition and stuff thinking lads before we start I just want to tell you just get it out of your minds if you can and it's constant psychology with them trying to say listen listen you're going to get paid next week but please so it doesn't surprise me that you know and that's I don't think that's changed really mm. you know so mm. you're expecting players to go out there and play and of course footballers love playing football but listen they've got they kids get, they've yeah, got yeah. family and they're not they're not 20 hundred grand a week footballers that are fine and they've, they can rest on a little bit of you know a bit of the money that they've made previously these are literally lads that are that need the need the wage to pay bills yeah. and and that becomes you know massive pressure in the in, in their, their psyche life, and, and you know you know not having to put the kids in in nursery because they can't afford to pay them mm. you know and the, different things yeah. that, you know, it, it was it totally was, different side that you, you know like you said fans it you was, don't see it was tough it's like it was you're tough. giving it that abuse Listen, from the sideline like I'd, I'd gone from Blackburn which you know, I'd probably spoil it a little bit we had the chef that cooks all the food and all that stuff so I get to an olden first day and we have like a an egg machine so you put a bit of water in the back and it's uh, like you peel your own and you boil it and you peel your own eggs it was fine and cereal <laughs> and stuff like that the, 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 the fitness guy who's, who's now at Bournemouth Anthony White done a great job so he'd like he tied in both jobs with nutrition and goalkeeping coach he was really good at what he did really thorough um, but I'm looking at thinking fucking hell we need some premises here so I went and bought a porter cabin out of my own money and I'm going to put offices in and a canteen for the lads with like a pool table a table tennis table you know Anyway, I bought it all, got it, got it put on the training ground, all sorted, and then he fucking sacked me. <laughs> <laughs> you get it back. So but but my point is that like, I'm I'm doing all the other stuff when really I should just be thinking about getting results. Yeah, yeah, Simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm thinking I'll be here for a little while. They'll go with me. I mean, 20 games. You know, I, I drew nine. I think I won three. I think I lost, you know, eight. I thought it were. I thought it was one four. It might have been a cup game. I don't know, and, and lost seven. But it's not. It's not horrendous, is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not with all the other stuff that's going on. But I just. Yeah. I just didn't win. If I'm being honest with myself, and I always will be, is I didn't win enough games, and ultimately that cost me my job. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, they didn't do. They didn't keep that fucking porter cabin. <laughs> you got it. Because I got an architect. An archi what do they call the big? Articulator. Easy for me to say. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. I pulled up at the training ground. Fucking lifted it, craned it on, <laughs> and took it back up. And I give it to school down the road here. Yeah. I thought, if it, I'm fucking, I'm not giving it then. You just sat. That's terrific. And so, and then, so I took it to St. Bobbitt Garden. Crane, <laughs> crane, I live in it now. Good effort. <laughs> Unless he's just kicked me out, I just turned it into a little one bed studio. Um, so I, but you know what? I thought, rather than <coughs> let them have it, I thought, 
that. I'm yeah. treating me like a piece of shite here, like. I'm going to... Um, so I give it one of the local schools down the road, yeah, and it's a classroom now. They've done it all up, and it's two classrooms, actually. So I thought, there you go. Well, it's got some good to come out of there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, cheers, mate. Nice no, no, right, 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 right. 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 Cheers, Thank mate. Thank you very much. Hi guys, David Dunn here from the Avenue Hotel. Under the cosh, been a great day. If you wanna subscribe, <laughs> if you wanna subscribe, add, like, share, comment below. Perfect. Look at that. There you go. Look well at done. That.